Energy policy is on the minds of voters as gas and electric bills remain high. Former President Trump is promising voters he'll bring them down if elected, but how and when? Let's ask American Petroleum Institute CEO Mike Summers, who joins us now. Mike, good to see you. So how soon would prices fall under President Trump if he gets another term? Well, unfortunately, this president, President Biden, has put in place policies that are really meant to restrict the amount of production here in the United States of oil and natural gas. And unfortunately, those policies are having their intended effect. And what our concern is, is that if we don't reverse these policies, we're really sowing the seeds for the next energy crisis in this country. So it's very important that whoever is the next president of the United States, that they adopt API's five-point policy roadmap, which is a plan that would actually ensure that we can continue to produce oil and gas here in this country, where we produce it at, to the safest possible and least emissions possible than it is done anywhere in the world. I want to transition to EVs um, with you. You actually have a lawsuit against the Biden administration because of all of these EV mandates. What's the update on that? In fact, we have multiple lawsuits against the Biden administration on their EV policies. And what's unique about our lawsuits is that we have joined together with farm groups like the American Farm Bureau and the Corn Growers Association, along with dealers in this country that sell these kinds of products to American consumers. And what all of these groups are saying, along with API, what we're saying is, is that these policies aren't right for the American people. Americans should have the right to choose the kind of vehicle that makes sense for them. And unfortunately, an EV doesn't make sense for most consumers in this country. In fact, according to a recent McKinsey survey, it suggests that 48% of Americans who currently own an EV actually want to go back to a traditional vehicle. These vehicles might make sense for niche consumers, but they don't make sense for most consumers, particularly those that have to travel long distances. So we have a lawsuit that says that we should reverse these policies. We're saying that uh, the federal government does not have the authority to put these policies in place. And it's really all about consumer choice. You should be able to choose the car that you want to choose. Speaking of EVs, let's talk about them for a moment because some studies indicate they actually do more harm to the environment than good and that they're worse for you know our planet than combustible engines so can you parse that out for me a little a absolutely and unfortunately this is based on an anachronistic way that the federal government judges mm -hmm. the emissions from a vehicle the way that the federal government currently judges emissions is only based on the tailpipe emissions what you need to do with an EV is need to, you need to go way back into the supply chain and think about all of the earth that you have to move to get these so-called rare earth minerals out of the ground that are required for electric vehicles. You need copper and you need aluminum and you need all of these different kinds of, of products that come from a, a significant amount of mining. Those should be part of the calculation uh, of emissions and unfortunately they're just not. So we need to update those programs so that Americans can, can actually make a decision. In Apple to apples decision and unfortunately right. they're just not getting that kind of data right now that's it apples to apples a fair comparison then make a judgment i think people can do that mike great stuff good to see you thanks for being with great us. to be with you all right